everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a uh, Kristen Cavallari inspired smokey eye. Um, the look that she wore to the music video, the MTV Music Video Awards. Um, I really liked it. It was just nice, simple, smoky eyes. So that's what I was inspired by for this look. It's using my Coastal Sense Neutral Palette and some other affordable products as well. So if you are interested in watching, then just keep watching. <laughs> I've already started this look by applying my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Now what I'm going to do is take my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil, and this is in Black Bean, and we're going to take this and smudge it all over our lid. Make sure you get a good amount because you want this to be um, pretty dark. And then you can smudge this out with your finger or brush. And I'm just going to be blending this out and smoothing the product around up to my crease. Okay, now that we have that step all done, it pretty much sets the groundwork for your smoky eye because you've already got that dark smokiness going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm using my um, 28 Neutral Palette by Coastal Sense. I'm taking a flat shader brush and I'm going into the matte black color here and um, I'm going to take this on my brush and I'm going to pat it on my lid. And because we have that base on there, this color is really going to stick to the lid. And you're just going to take this up to your crease and stop there and now you have that really nice dark black like that and then what we're going to do I'm going to take a fluffy crease brush and I'm going to go into this neutral light tan color here I'm just going to barely pat this on my brush and take this in my crease and just blend it. It's pretty light and it's just gonna help um, smooth out your crease color. Then what I'm gonna do is go into this color here. It's like a reddish brown kind of tone. I'm gonna take just a tad bit of that and we're going to take this in our crease as well. And her smoky eye it does look like it has a bit of um, some uh, brownish tones to it. So that's why I'm adding this. Like that. And then you can touch up, clean up the edge if you like. If it's getting too out there, you can just take a little brush and clean that up. And then what I want to do is take that fluffy crease brush that we're using and go back into the black and then just take that and blend it back on our lid but like up to the crease as well so it's not just like a line. It's all kind of blending together. Like that. And then what I'm going to do for our highlight so I'm going to take a larger flat shader brush and I'm going to go into this um, really soft gold color here sticking with the neutrals and I'm going to take this right under my um, brow and that just creates a nice subtle highlight now for the lower lash line I'm just going to take my small round crease brush and this is my Essence of Beauty brush I'm going to go into the black that we've been using and I'm going to start this on the corner and then bring it down like that. I'm just smudging this my lash line. This is a very lined eye. 
So I'm taking that all the way in. Try to keep it thicker on the outer corner. And then just lightly bring it in. Like that. And then for the eyeliner, I'm just going to take my NYX black liner. And I'm going to just take that in my waterline, in my tight line, and then just line my upper lash line as well. And to complete this eye look, all I did was apply my CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara. And of course, if you're doing this look for a night out, you can always apply your false lashes as well. To find out what I have on the rest of my face, you can check the sidebar. Um, what I put on my cheeks is, um, this is actually a drugstore product as well, and it's CoverGirl Cheekers. And this is in Iced Cappuccino. I really like this blush. This is my favorite CoverGirls one. And it just gave me a nice glow. And then over that, just for a highlight, I applied the um, shimmer part of my medium dark slash natural and shimmer um, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And for the lips, um, she has a really nice creamy pink lip. So I thought this color would be perfect for that. And this is my Maybelline... Moisture Extreme Lipstick, and this is in Sugar Plum Ice, and it's really perfect uh, pink color on your lips. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and thank you for watching, and have a great day. Bye.